Have you ever considered who is the single most important person in your business? Now, very often when I ask people this question, the reply I would get would be a customer, you know, the number one customer, the highest paying customer or the um, customer who's been with the business the longest. Or sometimes it could well be a very key member of staff or even somebody that you outsource to. Um, And yet, fascinatingly, for me, the single most important person in your business is you. Absolutely every single time, it's you. Now, customers obviously pay the bills, so it's very natural that we prioritise customers because let's be honest, no money means no business. So obviously we have to bring in customers and we have to provide a good service to them. But very often what happens is that kind of becomes all consuming, that the the focus on the customer becomes the huge focus of the business and then what so often happens is that all the things that you intend to do for you and for your business, all those amazing ideas that you've got, new funky innovations and plans that you've got for new products, new processes, new systems, new customers, they all get squashed to the sidelines because there's never quite enough time to do them because the customer is taking so much of the focus. But as I say, to me, you are actually your most important client because if you are not fit, well, able, mentally sound with enough batteries to actually get get you through the day, then you can't possibly provide a good service to your customers. But also on the flip side of that is when you actually dedicate time to you and to your business and to the growth of your business, Not only does that serve you really, really well, but it actually serves your customers as well. So when your business gets bigger, when your business gets better, when you have a bigger team, when you have more people that can help you so that your service is more efficient and um, more consistent, all those things actually go to help your customer. When you're able to serve more customers, then of course your customers benefit from that as well. So when you think about the future of your business, the single most important person in that is you. Um, And one of the ways that you can shift that balance slightly is just by making sure that you apply the same standards to you and your business that you do to your customers. So for instance, would you make a promise to a customer that you didn't keep? Would you agree a deadline with a customer that you just let slip by? Would you say repeatedly to a customer that you are going to do something and then find a reason why it's no longer a priority? And yet so often we do all of those things for our own business. So that's your first step really is just think about how do you treat your customers and how, where at the moment are you not treating you or your business with the same degree of importance? So you can literally think of your business as a customer, it's a client, and treat it with the same level of importance, the same level of respect, um, and make sure that you do respect plans, respect deadlines, and things like that. And then to go one step further, I would always advise that you're booking in fixed time to work on your business just as you would book in fixed time to work on your client delivery or your customer work, you should do exactly the same for your business. So put regular slots into your diary for when you're going to work on your business, work on on your processes, on your marketing strategy, on all of your systems, and all of those juicy things on new products, new ideas. But once you've got that time in your diary, you have to treat that as sacred. You wouldn't cancel something like that for a customer at the last minute. So don't give away that time when it's focused on you and on your business either. So that's my big piece of advice for today is to treat yourself and your business with the same level of respect and importance that you treat your customers because you are just as important. In fact, I think you're actually slightly more important. So I hope that's been helpful. We'd love to hear back from you in the comments. And of course, please please feel free to share this video with anybody else who you think could benefit.